fan replacement for iMac A1418. Always begin by disconnecting the rear power cord. It's very important so that the power supply is not live. The tools we're going to need are a T10 screwdriver, plastic and metallic prying tools, tweezers, a blow dryer, and M3 double sided tape. Begin by heating up the glue that's securing the screen to the iMac. Uh, it's glued on, so go ahead and heat it up for about 4 or 5 minutes to make sure it's nice and soft. And then go ahead and start prying in with the sharp tool and one of the corners. Please note that if you're using a metallic tool like we are here, there's a possibility you can scratch up the interior of the screen. So go very slow and try to use a plastic tool instead of a metallic tool first. Um, go ahead and go all the way around the contour and break that seal. When the glue is warm, it should be able to come apart pretty easily. Then you can wedge in like a piece of plastic and then pry it and get that separation going. Once the separation is started, you can gently pull back on the screen up top and expose the two connections. Let's take a closer look here. Uh, there's the um, screen connection and the power for the screen. Go ahead and pull that power for the screen first uh, by gently wiggling it out of its socket and then the actual uh, screen data cable. Go ahead and pull on that little tongue uh, and then unclip it like that. With those two connections uh, unhooked, we can go ahead and lower the screen, but it's still attached with the uh, foam tape double-sided glue that they have. So go ahead and uh, use a tool to go ahead and cut that apart. Uh, we're just using a metallic prying tool here. Uh, once you got that separated, you can just pull it right out. We'll need to remove this tape here. Uh, we'll be putting double-sided tape over it once we reassemble the unit. The fan is located in the center. Go ahead and unplug it first by finding its connection and just pulling it out like so. Now go ahead and remove the three T10 screws that are securing the fan to the chassis. This top screw uh, is uh, like a long one. With those three removed, you should be able to just lift up the fan. iMac Fan A1418 installation. Plug that fan in, and then we can just drop it into its orientation, and then secure it with the three T10 screws. It's very important to remove all of the residual uh, double-sided tape that was left from when we took the screen apart. Go ahead and remove as much as you can. Try to get all of it. Make sure there's no gap. Put the double-sided tape all the way around the entire contour, especially all the places where we removed the previous double-sided tape from the factory. Now, sometimes you want to double stack that. You want to put two rows on. You put one row on and then go ahead and remove the uh, uh, guarding you know, uh, material. And then on top of that, make another layer if you want to be extra careful. Now go ahead and remove the plastic from the screen itself uh, if you're putting back the old one. Make sure it's nice and clean, aligned it so you can get a nice good seal. Make sure it's uh, uh, oriented properly and it's not sticking out too much to the left or the right. Now go ahead and lift it up and go ahead and connect those two connections. The LVDS or the screen cable that are at in the display, whichever model you have first. This is the data for the display. Go ahead and put that in. Sorry about the blurring is here, but to give the concept, make sure to click that in and uh, that it's nice and sealed. Now for the power, go ahead and click that in. Also again, sorry for the bl blurring this. Now go ahead and clamp it up. And that's it. Apply 
generous pressure making sure you get a nice good seal.